So calculator programs are helpful when you're running out of time on the question on the SAT, and they just generally are fast ways for you to um, plug and chug numbers in and get the answers out right away. So let's start with the quadratic formula program. So we're going to go here where it says PRGM. You're going to hit that. And then here you see execute, edit, and new. So we're going to move over to new and press enter. And then we're going to call this one quad for quadratic. So we're going to hit second, then alpha. So that's going to alpha lock our um, keyboard. So then let's go over to Q, which is here. And then U and A and D. So now it says quad. All right, perfect. Now let's press enter. And now it's prompting us to put in the directions for this program. So let's hit program again, which is here. And then move over to IO. So hit your right mouse button. And then go down to prompt. And then we're going to prompt for three variables, A, B, and C. So as you can see here in the formula, we have B. A and C. So we're going to prompt for A, so alpha A, comma, alpha B, comma, alpha C. Okay, then you hit enter. For the next step, we're going to find the discriminant. So the discriminant is what's underneath the um, square root sign over here. So that's going to be B squared. So let's just do B caret 2 for b squared minus 4 alpha a uh, alpha c. Okay, and then we're going to store it. So come down to this button here, STO for store, and we're going to store that into alpha d. So that's going to be the discriminant. And then what we do next is... Um, find the two roots. So in parentheses, we'll have a negative b plus the square root of d, and then divided by, in parentheses, 2a. OK, and we'll store that in a variable. It doesn't really matter what the name is, so let's just go j. Okay, then we have negative b minus the square root of d. Close off those parentheses over parentheses to a. Then we'll store that in k. All right, so now we have j and k which are our two roots, and all we have to do is display them. So hit program, move over to IO, and then number three is display. So we're going to display J, and then we're going to display K, just like that. Hit enter, and you're done. So we can second quit, and then hit program again. Now you'll see our quad program is under the exec menu. So hit enter and hit enter again to run it. So let's try a simple one, x squared minus one. So that should factor out into x minus one times x plus one. So our roots will be one and negative one. So a in our case would be one. B is gonna be zero because we have no middle term and C is going to be negative one. And see here, we have our roots 1 and negative 1. So that's perfect. Now let's move on to the area of a triangle formula. And this is actually Heron's formula. So we have the semi-perimeter times semi-perimeter times the first side of the triangle times the semi-perimeter minus the second side of the triangle and then semi-perimeter minus the third side of the triangle. So let's go back to program and move over to new and hit enter to create a new program. So let's do alpha lock again, so second alpha, and we'll call this um, try for triangle. So we'll have to prompt for the three sides, which are gonna be A, B, and C. So hit program, IO, then two, which is prompt. 
So we're going to prompt for A, comma, which is here, and then alpha B, comma, alpha C. So we're prompting for the three sides there. And then we'll get the semi-parameter, which is A plus B plus C in parentheses divided by 2. And then you hit store again, which is here. So store it in um, S for semi-perimeter. And then let's take the square root of all of this. So square root of, in parentheses, S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C and then close off those final parentheses. Then we can display our answer. So go to program, go to IO. Number three is disp, which is display, and then display second answer. So that's gonna display our answer that we got over here. Press enter and you're done. You can second quit. So let's make another one for the distance formula. Again, mouse over to new, create new. Uh, let's call this one dist. And then the distance formula, all we need is two points, and then we have to subtract the x values and subtract the y values. So we'll have to prompt in for four values this time. We'll have a, b being x1, y1, and then c, d being x2, y2. So those will be our two points. So hit program, move over, over to IO, prompt for a, so alpha a comma b comma c comma d. Okay, so now we'll have to do um, a minus c squared plus b minus d squared. So let's do the square root of, in parentheses, a minus c, close off those first set of parentheses, squared, uh, plus in parentheses, b minus d, close off parentheses, square that, and close off the initial set of parentheses. So that's basically it for the distance formula. We'll just have to um, display that. So display answer, and we're done. Now the next one is going to be the sum of an arithmetic series. So start a new program and call this arith series. Um, okay, now we see here that in our formula we have to prompt for n, which is going to be the number of terms, a sub 1, which is our first term, a sub n, which is the, the nth term, or in our case, basically the last term, divided by 2. Okay, so we need to prompt for three things. n, and then for a sub 1, we'll change that to f, which is going to stand for first, and then a sub n, which is going to be changed to l for last. So we'll prompt for n, f, and l. And then what we're going to do is um, play all of this out in the formula. So that's going to be n times uh, first plus last, so f plus l. Close off those parentheses uh, over 2. Yeah. Then display the answer. So program, IO, display, second answer. Hit enter, and we're done. Now for the finite geometric series, we see that we have a sub 1, so we're going to change that to f again for first. r and n are going to stay the same because those are relatively um, simple variable names. So let's make another new program. Let's call this fgo sum for finite geometric series sum. So now we have our first. So let's start off with parentheses. Oh wait, no, we have to prompt first. So program IO prompt for first R and N. Okay. Now let's um, start doing this formula. So in parentheses, we have RF. Multiply that by one minus R. Uh, caret n, 
we are going to close off those parentheses and then divide by 1 minus r in parentheses. Okay? And that should be it. So program, display, answer. And we're done with the finite geometric series. Okay, so the next one is going to be an infinite geometric series, which I wrote over here, which is going to be um, a sub 1, which is the first term, over 1 minus r, which is the ratio. So I went and created a new program. The name of this will be f geosum. I mean i geosum for infinite. Now all we have to do is prompt for f, which is going to be a sub 1, the first term, and r for the ratio. So let's go program io prompt uh, f comma r and that'll be it. So all we need to do is f divided by 1 minus r. Don't forget the parentheses around that term. And then program io display your answer and we're done. So the next one is volume of a cone. So let's go and make that new, create new. Uh, let's just call this cone for simplicity. And we see that the formula is pi r squared h over 3. So all we need is r, r and h. So let's prompt for both of those variables. Now all we have to do is multiply pi. So second and then this caret, which gives you, whoops, I pressed alpha instead of second. So that's going to give you pi. Then you multiply that by r squared. So alpha r caret 2. Multiply that by h. And then close parentheses and divide by 3. So that should be all. Then you can display your answer. And there you go. Now we have the sphere. So create new. Let's call this sphere. Now let's prompt for the variables that we need, which it looks like we only need r really. So just prompt for r, which is going to be the radius. Oops. Alpha r. Okay. Now all we have to do is 4 times pi times r cubed and divide that by 3. Then we can display our answer. And that's it for sphere. So moving on to pyramid. Let's call this just PYR. Okay, so we need to prompt for length, width, height. And that's all. So program, IO prompt. Uh, let's prompt for L, comma, W, comma, uh, H. So it's just length, width, height, divided by 3. So let's do length times width times height divided by 3. And that's a relatively easy one. So just display the answer and we're done. Okay, so the last one is going to be the area of a sector. And what a sector is, is basically a section of a circle. So what we're going to do is prompt for the radius and theta, which is the angle. Uh, let me just draw this out for you. So we have a circle. And let's say that this is our sector. And we want to find the area of this sector. So we need to provide this angle, which is going to be theta, and the radius, which is that. Let's create a new one and call this S E C T area. There we go. So let's prompt for our radius and also for our angle. So you can call that A for angle then. So it's just going to be R squared times the angle. And don't forget that the angle has to be in radians. So if you're given a test question and they give theta in degrees, don't forget to change it to radians. That is very important. 
So we have r squared times the angle over 2. Then let's display this, display the answer, and we're done with all of our programs. See? Then we have all 10 in our calculator. So thanks for watching guys. I really hope that this helped you and I hope that this is going to be really useful for your upcoming SAT.